Well, good afternoon. It's Thursday afternoon. I'm on the drive home. This is the end of my work week this week. Since I work the weekend, I get to take an extra day off. And since Carolyn was off, I made it a perfect opportunity for me to save a few bucks at daycare and take some time off. We're going to go head out to Las Vegas to visit Melissa and the Pooches, especially in the new Pooch. Carolyn did not get to meet Abby, who is apparently settling in very well, so we're going to head out there tomorrow, and we'll post something from the road. This is my 47th entry. They add up pretty quick. I find myself looking for topics every day. The, the one I kind of came across today... Is this law that they're trying to get passed and, and upheld in Arizona. And it's the law that would allow law enforcement officials to request the immigration papers of anyone if they suspect that they are in the country illegally. On its face, that sounds like it has some merit, but you have to really kind of look at it. What it means is they see a guy on the street who looks Hispanic you're in one of the border towns. This new law will allow any police officer to simply walk right up to that person and say, I need to see your green card. They'll have to prove their status. That smacks to me a lot of illegal search and seizure. You're asking someone to display their documentation because they look like they might be from another country. And that they might be here illegally. How many people is this going to, at a minimum, inconvenience? People who were born in the U.S. of Hispanic parents who were also here legally, they look Hispanic, they might be speaking Spanish with someone on the street, so they sound... Like, oh, hey, this guy speaks Spanish. He might be from across the border illegally. Let's ask him. And he turns around and looks at him and speaks in perfect English. I'd be annoyed. Never mind the fact that if an Irish guy... is standing there... What do you think the chances are that he is going to get asked for his green card by a police officer? You're basically saying, here, Mr. Police Officer, let's surrender the rights of privacy for a specific group of individuals based entirely on their appearance. Because that's what the law says. It says that if they see someone who appears that they might be in the country illegally, they can stop and ask them. They don't have to have done a single thing wrong. They don't have to have jaywalked. They don't have to have committed any kind of a crime. Nothing. The police can go to them and ask them for their documentation. That's pretty heavy-handed. Now, the police organizations, they're not, they're mixed about it. The ones that are for it say, look, we'd never abuse this. This is just a tool. 
But the fact of the matter is they have a tool already. If someone has committed a crime, or is there a reasonable suspicion that they have committed a crime, there's a perfect reason to ask them. What this law is saying is that, and yes, illegal immigration is a crime. No question. What they're saying, however, is that is the only reason to invade somebody's privacy. That you suspect they may be here illegally. How exactly do you do that by looking at someone? It's because their skin's brown? It's because they have an accent? Because otherwise, I don't know how you look at someone and come up with a reasonable suspicion. Look, if they're in the back of a smuggler's truck, uh, they're crossing the border illegally, okay, great, they're committing a crime and they're in the act of a crime, there is reasonable suspicion that they are doing something illegal. But standing on a street corner? And are you gonna stop everybody on a street corner and say, are you here illegally? Of course not, if there's, uh, you know, three preppy looking kids on a street corner, is the cop gonna go over to them and say, can I see your documentation, please? No. It's based on visual discrimination. This is racial profiling at its highest. You are simply selecting people because of their looks. It's wrong. Like I said, illegal immigration is against the law. Those who are here illegally need to be prosecuted when they are caught. But I don't think we need to trample on the Constitution and the protection from illegal searches and seizures to do that. I don't think the law will hold up to congressional scru- or to uh, constitutional scrutiny. We'll see. But Arizona, you're making a mistake. And it really looks like it ha- like it's racially motivated. Because you can only target by looks. That's my rant for today. We'll uh, put something in tomorrow on our way. Carolyn will be with me. It's a long trip, so we may film once or twice. Hope you had a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.